No, it is Black Friday, and I think we did our part. The order has placed. When is Mean Girls going to arrive? Sometime before Christmas, right, darling? Yeah, probably second week of December. Do we have any carrots in the fridge? I don't even know. I don't think so, not anymore. Okay, the thing is we had fresh carrots from the garden, and they were amazing. But today I'm looking at the carrot and the stick today. Two definite ways to go about your business in the world of authority, in the world of uh, democracy, in the world of communism, in the world of government. So today I'm trying to focus on the witness list for my upcoming Scooter Gate hearing on January the 3rd. Now, this is kind of my fault. I did not realize that I missed the deadline of what I like to call interrogatories. Interrogatories are written, uh, written questions that you can give the other uh, uh, lawyer to get information that is relevant to your case. And apparently the deadline for that was November 11th. So I missed that, but uh, it's kind of like, a, oh, so sorry. You don't get to do that anymore. So that's kind of a bummer. I'm a little sad about that because having written statements kind of helps back up your uh, written arguments. Uh, the next thing that's kind of really frustrating is I've put up requests for uh, emails that are relevant to my case. And oh my gosh, that's kind of like trying to get uh, teeth from a crocodile that is not very happy. So that is not going very well at all. I put in two very, very simple requests for uh, information just to kind of test the waters with regards to getting that information. This is stuff that someone could probably look up in 30 seconds or less and have that information to me. And it's, I'm not sure how many days it's been, you know, with the holiday and the weekend, but my guess it's going to be close to two weeks before I have even the simplest itty bitty little bit of information given up. So thinking that I'm going to get any information uh, via email, that's, well, that's a pipe dream. So what I have is witnesses. So the good thing is, darling, I'm going to go downstairs to the man cave. Okay. Can I get a kiss? No. Mm-hmm. But uh, it seems like witnesses are the one thing that I'm going to get to have. So witnesses and written arguments. Those are the two tools that I got to work with today. So... Uh, let me take a look. Hey, what do we got here? Let's take a look. Boom. One of the things that I wanted to give to the monastery before I left, which, uh, well, I left a little bit sooner than I expected, was I wanted to give them a written handbook entitled PCT. And here we I don't want to turn this off. Let's go like this. You never know if the camera turns off when when you turn it on like that. So we're going to take this sign. We're going to put it up because it's important to me. Uh, The carrot versus the stick. Now, I have found in my experience as an adult human being that nurturing is a lot more complicated and involved process than punishment. Now, let's see how that looks. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. So we got the hierarchy here of power. We got my visual aid. Hopefully there is just going to be a bajillion, well, not a bajillion, but about 52 post-it notes uh, upon this wall with code names as I go through my witnesses. Now, I sent an email to Lord Justice today, and I like Lord Justice. He has a sword and he cuts through the crab cake. Mad respect. But anyway, yeah. So, A lot of the witnesses on the list that I was just looking at upstairs would really, 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 really feel uncomfortable going into uh, the hearing, taking the stand, 
and just saying anything because, well, they fear the stick. You know, I have worked at the monastery a long, long, long time, and I have done a lot of things right. I think I think that can be said. I have made the lives of the Gabinos that have crossed my paths much, much better. When uh, I walk into the room at the monastery, the Gabinos are happy to see me. And why is that? Because 100%, I want to be there. If I didn't want to be there, I wouldn't be there. And that's and that's the gospel truth. Like, uh, maybe somebody's going to see this video and just kind of scratch their head and say, why are we fighting this guy? You know, look how hard he's working to try to get back to us, even though we're like kicking the crap out of him and beating him with a stick at every turn we can get. It's because I love it. You know, Tom Brady loved playing football. I love helping the kids that really need it the most. So, yeah, I'm going to think about, all right, which post-it notes do I put on the wall next? You know, I got to choose carefully because, yeah, you know, this kind of utopia mentality that I have maybe just isn't uh, real world enough to be talking about. But, man, the name of the book that I wanted to write was PCT, Patience, Compassion, and Teamwork. Those are not three easy things to have in life. Those those uh, qualities in a human being take a lot of work and a lot of effort. This, not so much. So it would really be cool to run into eight, nine, ten people willing to put in the work, kind of like me, to make this happen. But as I'm going to find out, I think, as I go through my witness list, Leonidas had the brave 300 at his side. I think that Mr. Gurr is marching off to battle on his own. But that's okay. Because you know what? Do you think Leonidas felt bad that 300 of his best, bravest men had to die to kind of, you know, meet, meet his goal? I don't know. That's something to think about. My son is very, very interested in seeing the movie 300. It's in the movie binder. And I've told my son, you know what? Soon. Soon. You don't have to be the bad guy. You are the most talented, most interesting, and most extraordinary person in the universe.